I am Dr. George Simon, a medical oncologist and a professor in the Department of Thoracic, Head and Neck Medical Oncology at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. My colleagues and I have recently published a paper about choosing the best treatment for prolonging survival in patients with advanced non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer who have not been selected for known targetable mutations. Platinum-based chemotherapy has long been the standard of care for this group of patients, but the prognosis is still quite poor. Fortunately, a number of recent trials have demonstrated that combining an immune-modulating drug with traditional platinum chemotherapy improves survival outcomes over chemotherapy alone. The randomized trials evaluating recently introduced immunotherapies for non-small cell lung cancer use standard platinum-based chemotherapy regimens as the control. This evidence base leaves open a very important question for clinicians. What first-line treatment for advanced non-small cell lung cancer in patients without known targetable mutations has the highest probability of success? To answer this question, we conducted a systematic literature review and a network meta-analysis. In the systematic literature review, we searched and assessed the scientific literature in order to gather all available evidence about first-line treatments for advanced non-small cell lung cancer that met pre-specified inclusion criteria. Then. We performed a network meta-analysis which provides a coherent statistical framework to disentangle treatment effects from study effects. This is accompanied by making indirect comparisons of drugs through a connected network that links randomized control trials via common comparators. Trials with pdl one expression as selection criteria were excluded since pdl one expression is a relative treatment effect modifier for anti-PD-1, pdl one therapy. This diagram shows the connected network of evidence for overall survival. Formed after completion of the systematic literature review and feasibility assessment. During this process, we ensured that potential relative treatment effect modifiers were well balanced across the network. Two trials evaluating chemotherapy with or without pembrolizumab, as well as three trials evaluating chemotherapy with or without atezolizumab were included. Additionally, trials evaluating eight platinum-based chemotherapy regimens were included. Because our analysis was conducted in a Bayesian framework, we were able to calculate the probability of each treatment in the network being the best treatment for prolonging overall survival. As shown in this table, pembrolizumab in combination with pemetrexid and platinum was associated with a 96% chance of being the best ranked treatment. In addition to calculating treatment ranks, we also calculated hazard ratios for all comparisons. This forest plot shows the hazard ratios for overall survival, comparing the pembrolizumab containing regimens versus all other treatments in this network. Pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy had a lower hazard ratio for death in every comparison, and this difference was statistically meaningful versus all but one treatment. These results suggest that pembrolizumab in combination with pemetrexid and platinum may yield the best probability of prolonging survival out of the other available first-line treatment options for non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer. In our manuscript, we show similar results for progression-free survival and discuss the implications for clinical decision making.